Hello, Andrew from Ventura Music School. And in this video, we're gonna talk about understanding the key of G major. So in all keys, we have a scale and a set of chords. In the key of G major, we're gonna have a G major scale and we're gonna have corresponding chords. So we're gonna start out with the middle finger on the sixth string third fret. And we're gonna play that note and then pinky on the fifth fret of the same string. And then on the fifth string, we're going to play the second fret, third fret, and fifth fret. And the fourth string, we're going to play second fret, fourth fret, fifth fret. Well, together, that is. That's one octave of that scale. And if we want to go through the next octave, we can start at that pinky on the fourth string, fifth fret and then go to the third string, second fret, fourth fret, fifth fret. Second string is gonna be third fret, fifth fret, and the first string is gonna be second fret, and third fret. All together, that's gonna to be two octaves. So, in all major keys and all major scales, we could count those notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then when we get back, when we get to eight, we're at the octave of the first note. It's another G note. So, and each of those numbers, for every major scale, we can count one through seven, and then eight is back to the octave of the first note. And each of those numbers is gonna have a corresponding chord the first note, the fourth note, and the fifth note are going to correspond with major chords. So G is our first note. We're going to have a G chord. Our fourth note, one, two, three, four, is C. That means we're going to have a C major chord. And our fifth note is D we have a D major chord. So in the key of G major, we have a G chord, C chord, and D chord. There are also three minor chords, and the minor chords correspond with the second, third, and sixth notes of the scale. So here's our first note, second note. That's an A, so we have an A minor chord. Let's go on to the third one, two, three. That's B, so we have a B minor chord. And let's go to our sixth note. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is E. So we've got an E minor chord. So we've got A minor, B minor, and E minor. So in the key of G major, we have G, C, D, A minor, B minor, and E minor. All of those chords will fit in that key. So if you were sitting around just strumming some chords, you can mess around with any combination of those chords. They will all fit into the key of G major and sound good. You can try different, um, different orders of those chords. So um, one of the things that I like to do is to play chords and then also play the scale in between the chords. Um, so here, what I'm going to do in this video, I'm just going to play a few um, notes from the scale. Before I do that, let me show you another version of this G major scale. And these two scales are going to fit together, and it's one of the reasons why G major is one of the most popular keys, and it's really cool to play in. So we have this scale. Great. We can also play the same notes, but we can start with the ring finger on the 6th string 3rd fret, and then the open 5th string, 2nd fret, 3rd fret, open 4th string, 2nd fret, 4th fret, open 3rd string, 2nd fret, 2nd string is open, 1st fret, 3rd fret, and the 1st string is open. 2nd fret, 3rd fret. And if we 
if you learn those two scales, it's really cool to kind of go between those scales. One of the things that's cool is that every one of the strings we can play open, and it's one of the notes of this key. Or what? to do, I'm going to just play a few notes of this scale. I'm going to start on the fourth string and play the open fourth string and the second fret. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the third string and then the open second string. And then play a G chord. Now I'm going to do those same notes and then play a C chord. I'm going to play those again and play a D chord. And I'll play them again and back to G. Switch it up. We could do um, then a chord. Then let's do. Let's go to the second string and we'll do the first fret open. Then on the third string two open, and we'll end on the fourth string two. We could do. We could do that. I'm doing this one, chord, and then this one. That's just an example of a few notes. And what you can do as you get more comfortable with those two scales, you can begin to um, mix up the notes and the, and the chords. basic ideas on how to put um, the chords and the scales together. Have fun with that, and I'll see you soon.